Hey guys, Austin here. Welcome to another episode of Lucky Block Survival here on the channel. And today, we have an interesting fight. Honestly, you guys probably would never even guess that this is even a thing. But we are going to be fighting the Silent Gems version of the vanilla Minecraft zombie. That's right. Mouthful, right? But let me explain to you what this actually means. So if you don't know, the Silent Gems mod is a mod that adds in all these unique weapons into your game. And hostile mobs can actually spawn with them. If under the right conditions. By that I mean if it's like on hard difficulty and you're spawning in a ton of them. So today guys, we're going to be fighting the, the vanilla Minecraft zombie. But it does have the chance to wield all these weapons. So... Guys, um, these weapons can vary from attack damages from like 5 attack damage swords to like 15 attack damage swords even. So, it's completely possible for these zombies to be completely overpowered just with this mod enhancing their attack capabilities. So, guys, that's what we're going to be fighting against today. If you have been enjoying the Lucky Book Survival videos here on the channel, smash that like button. This video can get to a whopping 10 likes, I'd greatly appreciate it. And would show that you guys still want to see more of this series on the channel. Um, so if we defeat this guy, he will be marked as like the Silent Gems version of the zombie. It's not just going to say zombie, do not worry. Um, uh, I don't even, I know we fought against the vanilla Minecraft zombie in the past, but I don't recall if we ever beat him or not. We didn't beat him in this version, I know, but that besides the point. We have Crab Tail, Iron Pairs, Five Bread starts off with, and let's head over here to spin our roulette of Lucky Blocks. And it's the Omega one. All right, perfect. Omega lol. Let's do it. So, um, oh, we didn't go over the trades. What am I doing? So, trades day for Alex. For Beacon, we will just get a normal iron sword with ice aspect 2 and breaking through the bane of arthropods won't mean anything. For a uh, nether star or dragon egg, we will get a just a golden sword with fire aspect 2, sharpness 4. So, it does 6.5 attack damage. Technically stronger than the iron sword, but less durable. And for the normal diamond trades, we will get a full chain set no enchants on it because I'm trying to make it like even today with the trades for five emeralds we would get a pink lucky sword and for five emeralds we can get one diamond if we are lucky enough to get a ton of emeralds um and of course for normal trades eight diamonds for a golden apple 16 emeralds for a notch apple five iron ingots for eight arrows and two gold ingots for a carrot because zombies do drop the carrots so that being said let's get right into opening so first things first I already got 20 diamonds okay perfect uh Diamond block, perfect. What is this? Oh, this is a... I don't know what this does. Chicken, test it! I don't even know what it did to them. Okay, um, we got leggings already. Iron leggings. Alright. And... Pff, well, I think we're good on the diamond department, at least. I don't think we really have the concern of losing any, uh... Anything there. Uh, what, what do you got? So, a bow sword one's lucky one is not and a is this a oh no this is a bad potion bad potion bad uh the bow is actually kind of good and four frames and oh well i'm a slash kill okay so right now we are already we've only opened three blocks and we're pretty we're pretty decent for this the battle strategist oh pretty unique item so it'll actually give us a delta sword how the heck does it... Oh, I guess we do... It does, um... Oh, well, rip out. Just... I will always remember thee. Okay. Um, fortune smiles upon me. I'll receive good luck. I just got more uh, lucky blocks. Uh, there's a problem. There's a stick. I just got... Now, everyone receives good luck. I got diamonds. We got a beacon. Is it? Is it going to be wet? No? All right. Beacon acquired, but I don't know if we're actually going to make the beacon trade because we might get a better weapon just off of this alone. Uh, punch flame infinity. Punch two flame on breaking. Okay, so the infinity does help, but at the same time, actually, if we don't get the whatchamacall, we might actually need that. Um, good enchanted chest plate. Glass, no. This, again, it is like, I'm trying to rush through this as I, told, I, I said in my other videos uh, yesterday. I was trying to... Uh, get things done pre-recorded but before four o'clock and this is not helping exactly giving me more and more stuff okay what do we even get out of that Ooh, 15 attack damage sword that instantly is better than iron as i'm breaking 10 too so dapper that even pat can't handle its epicness fears destroyers dapper dagger of course okay we don't need a shovel we don't need that 
We're getting a ton of armor. It's like this thing wants me to be overpowered for a simple zombie round. Like I said, it's like it wants me to. Ooh, that's an interesting well. I've never gotten that one before. Let's uh, throw something in it. What's gonna happen? Does it just strike everyone with lightning? I guess. Because it's like Ultra Unit sends sends his regards or sends their regards as in like everyone in the world got struck with lightning. Holy XP. Alright, um... Again, don't think we're going to be doing Enchanced Villager. None of these are really... Wait, what's the pickaxe? <laughs> don't really need it. Alright, what do you have? Can't melt me. Um, I, I think I know what that is. The enchanted Leggings. That's very Enchanted Leggings, actually. Uh, Fortress Mount, I got Jump is 2, TNT, Jump Away. The snowman lived. It's true, you can't melt him already. We got the we got our powerful steed, we don't really need that. Enchantment Table, grab that. Um, Mystery Potion, is this the one that's like, drink me? Yeah, no thanks. Um, more Enchanted Gear. Uh, yeah. Dirt. Uh, again, for Fortress uh, Resistance 2. Enderman, Slenderman. What I like to see. Okay, what's next? Uh, oh, make a mage. Oh, no. Here, I'm just going to turn to... Respawn, please. Uh, peaceful. Alright, that should have done its thing. Hopefully. Okay. Let's keep opening. Ow. Was that necessary to kill me like that? I guess it was. Uh, again, Omega Mage. I forgot since I have, it, I have to open it to Lamb World because of this. To op myself now, uh... I forgot I can just here kill me. Thank you. I forgot I can turn peaceful without the game itself actually pausing now, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, so considering everything we have, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, first things first, give me the sword. Um, overall, this is just way better, the 15 attack damage. I'll keep this sword, but I don't require any other swords, which don't really have any. Um, chain gear is not needed whatsoever. Um, um, I don't think I need the lucky sword either. What do you have? So, I'm gonna need the food. So, let me just get all the food. Um, arrows. In case we want to do some ranged attacks, I can't really afford. I can afford golden apples. Here, so what's the armor looking like? Enchanted, enchanted, enchanted. I don't have boots, but that's okay because we can just make a plethora of diamond boots and we can enchant them so we do that uh, both have a breaking yeah why not boom okay so that's done um this has infinity so since i only have eight arrows i'm gonna use the infinity bow versus the other one so let me get that one out of the way uh i can't really think of anything else off the top of my head, so I'm gonna put all this in here. The food actually is the one thing we are lacking slightly, but I think I'm gonna be able to speed through this so fast it won't matter. The extra armor I'll keep, of course, just in case. You guys never know what might happen. Um, and I think, oh wait, I'm gonna have to actually kill the villagers, I just realized. Because if I don't, these zombies will go after them. All right, so let's turn it to nighttime time set. Night. Make sure I'm actually gonna put it on hard mode because everything needs to be able to spawn in here. I don't actually need this horse armor, but it's in my inventory now. As for food, uh, that's our food. All right, we're not allowed to use any food we get from the zombies either. But let's do this, guys. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Round one, one zombie, easy. Round two, this will be a cinch at first. Round three, and there they are. All right, they already have the weapons. Remember, so it does get harder. And it will get harder, I guess is the best way to say it. So let me just put all rotten flesh drop right there, and then that's armor. Okay, round four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's not a diamond sword he's wielding. That's one of the uh, silent gem swords. Again, like I said, it, it's going to just be like that today. Okay. Round six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can't come enchanted as well. This is just going to get more difficult over time. I can keep them bay like this. But if they get hits off on me, it's gonna start getting a bit crazy. Okay, um, round seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. 
never hit the baby. I can never hit the baby in this in version these versions of Minecraft. I I still don't know why I can't. Because I see people online do it pretty easily. Like on YouTube, I watch other videos of people fighting in these versions of Minecraft. They do it pretty easily. Alright, round eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, chicken jockey, not what I need. Alright, chicken jockey's been taken care of. I do have to kill the chicken because he was part of the uh, mobs. Alright. Fending you guys off is pretty dang easy at this point. Okay, moving on to next round. We're on around 10, I believe. So that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And of course, with the uh, zombie horde uh, in play right now, since we are on hard difficulty, the longer it takes for me to kill them, the better chance of more zombie spawning there will be. I haven't seen it happen yet, though, which is interesting enough. That baby chicken's gonna end up dying. He walked into this arena and he's gonna die from it. Alright, 12, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Ow. Come on, you guys can do better than that. Ow. Yeah, they are starting to hit me a bit, but it's okay. This is 12 of them, this is nothing. Should've gone smite on the sword, but that would've been too easy. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna need another round of spawn eggs, and we are on to round 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, we got a baby. We got a chicken jockey. Oh, the chicken's dead. Rip the chicken. 2018. Oh, we're gonna have to start saying 2019 soon. Oh, I'm excited. Are you guys excited for 2019, the year of 2019? Is this one shotting, or am I just. Okay, it does 10 damage. That's what it does. Okay. I'm just curious there. Okay. Moving on to round 15, I think we're on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Pretty easy right here. One does have the sword, though. Do keep in mind, guys, if he's left one alive, I'll let him hit me once just to show you, but they do do damage. I'm not making this up. If I get hit by that sword, I'm in trouble. Get back. <laughs> If I can get one of them to even drop the sword, I'll show you. But, okay, round 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. If the baby spawns with the sword, I'd be even more trouble. Right now, there are four zombies in play with swords. I think one of them has just the regular iron sword, but it's really hard to out. It's really hard to tell, actually. Oh, yeah, see, that one hit me and did two and a half hearts of damage. So... Keep in mind, if I do get hit by these... Oh, one did drop the sword. Okay. So, this sword does 11.82 attack damage. Legacy item. So, if that hits me, I'm really in trouble. Okay, so moving on, though, to round 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ooh, he's got a blue one. Also, I'm sure you guys have seen with the Silent Gems mod in my uh, New World series how many pages worth of weapons there are. So you can probably imagine how many different varieties of weapons these things can spawn at. They can only hold like the sh machetes and the normal swords and the long swords, I believe, though. I don't think they can get uh, anything else. I don't think they can get like a, a random bow or something. And it's weird because the skeletons spawn with the swords also. They don't spawn with the bows. So if the mod were to update, I would, if I only requested, just have the skeletons actually be able to spawn with the different bows. Oh, that's only three zombies. What am I doing? Three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I got lost track there. Okay, kill the baby first. Well, that one has a black sword. That one's got full chain gear. One's got the shovel. Knock them all back. Ow. Oh, that one just hit me. Did you guys see that? I lost four hearts in one hit there. So just stating, if I'm not watching what I'm doing, I can really die here. Ow. Half a heart there. All right, you're gone, and you're gone. Okay. That's a my B, though. Let's re... Organize. Okay, so I'm on to round 19 now. So let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. I see those guys in the back with the long swords. I think we have three long swords actually this time. Ow. A black one, a purple one, and an like a uh, ocean blue color one. Oh, there's a machete in there too. I didn't see him. A golden machete. 
I have to watch. I'm at about half health. If one of them hits me, they could insta-down me. So, I gotta just watch that. Alright, that one just got taken down pretty quickly. Alright, and dead. Perfect. Alright, final round. You guys ready for it? Because I'm ready for it. Round 20, let's do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And for good measure, we'll do five more. And for the spawn eggs on the ground, just, just to, uh... Just to kind of assert dominance here. I'll even shoot a few of them with my bow just to kind of show you guys that I can still kind of kite them. Here, I'll knock that one with the armor back. Alright, let's see. I don't want to die though. I can still lose even if I spawn in more than I... Four hearts of damage. I think it's three and a half more or less, but that... Like, if that's that actually was a thing, I'd be really concerned. Alright, let me just... Let me just snipe a few of you guys back with the flame. Knock a few of you out. Alright. Oh, one drop for the potato. There's still one with the sword left, but I'm taking him out. He's gone. There's no hope for them now. The zombies have, unfortunately... Oh, lost. Imagine if he had, like, an invisible glitch sword and he hit me once I just died there. But, guys, that is going to conclude today's... Pixel... Or Pixelmon? Today's Lucky Block Survival. I will have him on the signboard outside stated um, as that we have beaten him. And I don't worry, I will specify saying that we did use the Silent Gems mod. But let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do the uh, Skeletons or Zombie Pigmen. They both work as well with this mod. Um, and whatnot. So if you guys did enjoy, smash that like, make sure, support, subscribe if you are new. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a second video going out today just because I'm strapped for time. But um, there will still be videos going out on Friday, do not worry. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.